at the start of his visit, he said that Washington has a deep and abiding interest in the region. His visit here to Tbilisi, although short, is widely seen as a strong show of support for the Georgian president, Mikhail Saakashvili. Now, his visit comes as the United States announced that it was donating a $1 billion economic aid package to Georgia. The U.S. Secretary of State, Condoleezza Rice, saying that this money was intended to help Georgia survive, recover, and thrive. In his meeting this morning with the Georgian President Saakashvili, Cheney is expected to give details about this aid package, what exactly it entails, and when it will arrive. One of the questions being asked is whether or not the United States plans to give any kind of military assistance to Georgia. Now, the United States has said that this $1 billion economic aid package is not intended to be used for military purposes, but some U.S. officials have not ruled out the possibility that in the short to long term, the United States could be helping Georgia military-wise. At the same time, earlier, the United States did send a number of warships that contained humanitarian packages, but there was speculation that because those containers were closed, because no specific details were given as to what was inside, that there could have been some kind of weaponry, some kind of military equipment inside. Our correspondent in Washington filed this report. A brief but clear show of Washington's support for its ally. I am pleased to announce a major United States economic support package which will total at least $1 billion to meet Georgia's pressing humanitarian needs and to facilitate its economic reconstruction. To be exact, the package totals $1.4 billion. $570 million of it will be distributed this year, the rest to follow. The State Department says none of the money will go towards military support, a concern that Moscow has raised repeatedly. And I can't stress or state more clearly, there is zero military assistance component to this billion-dollar package. Russia's recognition of South Ossetia and Abkhazia has spurred a war of words with the West. But there have been no specific actions taken to punish Moscow. When asked why not, Rice offered more of the same rhetoric. Russia's done itself in on this. Uh, because, yes, it's demonstrated it can use its military force, uh, regional military capabilities against a small um, neighbor. Uh, but in doing so, it has um, called into question its own uh, responsibility. Meanwhile, many Americans call into question America's responsibility to them. I believe we should always take care of home first. So I don't agree that they should be sending money out when we have to take care of the economic situation here. Foreign aid can make things worse in the country. I think Georgia has to make its own future, and I hope it does it well, but I'm not sure throwing money at it is going to help the situation. Washington has already provided roughly $30 million in emergency humanitarian aid to Georgia since early August. It is not clear whether a billion dollars will help resolve the crisis in Georgia, but the White House is already seeking commitment from the next U.S. administration whether the American public likes it or not. Anna Moya, RT, Washington. Well, for several years now, Moscow has been concerned with the possibility of the United States rearming the Georgian army. It says that already for several years it has been providing military assistance and that in the recent South Ossetian war, a lot of the weaponry, a lot of the armaments, in fact, were provided by the United States. In one of his speeches, the Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili said that he would be asking the United States for assistance to his armed forces. And this is the reason why there is some speculation in the media that on today's agenda in the meetings between the U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney and the Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili, military matters 